Welcome to the Harper Classroom. I'm Dr. Harper. This lecture video is on Project Management Introduction to Waisaki Management. This video is based on the book Effective Project Management by Waisaki, and I've divided the book into three sections. This video will focus on the second section, Management, Chapters 13 through 16. But I will emphasize the Project Support Office, PSO, in Chapter 15, and the Continuous Process Improvement Model, CPIM, in Chapter 16. The Project Support Office supports the project and programs, and these together will support the Continuous Process Improvement Model. So although the support is initially illustrated here as one way, the function within each one of these is coordinated throughout the entire project life cycle. So let's start with a Project Support Office, PSO. I will develop the material in the Project Support Office in Chapter 15 in three different sections. First, the definition. What is it? A Project Support Office provides services to support the project management of project portfolios. But first, the PSO is a business unit. It is part of the organizational structure, but can reside in a variety of locations and take on a number of different forms, from real to virtual, permanent to temporary. And the types of support services can also vary, from reactive to proactive, or administrative to functional. Why do we need it? We can consider two perspectives to the justification of a PSO. One, when the causes of project failure could have been addressed by a PSO to prevent failure or at least lower the likelihood of failure, that would represent a sound justification for the need of a PSO. But when the symptoms related to project failure are identified in a project, that becomes a strong argument for a PSO. How do we use it? Waisaki argues the most effective approach in implementing a PSO is through the processes related to maturity models. The levels, assessment advancement, and action items within a maturity model are used by Waisaki to illustrate the development of a PSO that will be well suited to an organization's project needs and will support the continuous improvement throughout the organization. I will present the material related to the CPIM, the Continuous Process Improvement Model, in three different sections. One, maturity models. Waisaki describes the structure and operations of maturity models, which include moving between levels of maturity related to processes within an organization. And then he discusses the tools and procedures used in the application of these maturity models. Two, he then specifically addresses the CPIM, the Continuous Process Improvement Model, which has similarities to a maturity model, but also has important differences. He defines phases of the CPIM as different from the levels of a maturity model in that the phases represent repeatable objectives in a feedback system instead of levels to be achieved in a maturity model. And with each feedback iteration, the processes within an organization are continually improved. Waisaki then discusses process improvement tools that can be used within each of these defined phases. He then emphasizes the coordination and support between the CPIM and the Project Support Office, where they both work together to enhance the effectiveness of projects and the continual improvement of processes within the organization. So within the management of an organization, the Project Support Office and the Continuous Process Improvement Model are presented by Waisaki, if used correctly, to greatly enhance the effectiveness of an organization. This video has just been a rough overview of the material. More detail will be covered in class. This ends the lecture video on Project Management Introduction to Waisaki Management. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.